It was the love of my life, my soul, my confidence, my everything, my hero. My hero to our four children. My husband was kind hearted, generous, selfless, a man who always took the rest before he was born. To speak his mind and to very of the day When he set his eyes on me for the first time, he said to himself, The man I want to marry. Later, we became friends and I became his personal secretary. Even after he became MP, so he had a secretary. True to his word, we got married. 50 years of marriage and 13 years of parenting. Wasn't an easy journey with lives up and down. The good times and the bad times. Yet our Heavenly Father saw us true. After marriage, I went through a near death situation with an ectopic pregnancy which almost took my life, but my husband never gave up on me. We later had three handsome boys, and I became, a pre I became pregnant with our first child. My husband decided to go on vacation to the state. During our state, I went into labor and had another childbirth complication, which nearly took my life and led me having a major surgery, a liver transplant. As to how I survived, only God knows, because the doctors still can't believe I survived. For this reason, my husband had to compromise for me to stay in the state to continue my medical treatment per the doctor's recommendation. Hmm. What a selfless Who? What a selfless man you were, my love. Praise all. You were here for me. You took care of me effortlessly without complaining of being tired. You never gave up on me. Not even for a day. When things became hard and difficult, you became our strength. Your prayers and wishes. Your prayers and wish were for me to be a child soon. So we can live under the same room together with our kids as one big family. Hey, as I affectionately called you, my rock and my hero. Now, now you are gone. Who will be my rock for me? Who will call me every night to check on me? When you were unable to call me at night, you made sure you called me in the morning. First thing, when you wake up in the morning. The last memory of my love was when he paid me a surprise visit last Christmas on 24 December 2022, like he always does. This time, he came with a warning because it has been a while since I last saw him. The last time I heard, the last time I heard my husband's voice was on Thursday afternoon, 23rd March 2023, waiting for his checkup call for the night, as usual, which never came through. He said, I received a call the next day that he has been rushed to hospital. I never heard my husband's voice again until that day. When my world, when my world came crashing down on me, you always playfully said to me, I fear I will marry you over and over again. With all these words in my heart, I never thought you would leave me so soon. I never had a chance to say goodbye. My heart is heavy with pain. I have never felt this pain this way until I had to say goodbye. A feeling of loss of so a feeling of loss going crazy. It's not it's not like you just move from one town to the other. I pray to God to give you one chance.
thanks to the wonderful lava, your kindness, your way, even though, even though, no longer we can, this is all sudden to the end of our life. I still count myself blessed to have, to have had you in my life. So your days of this death are over, and if we create, Living great life and it gives me for knowing that the family, your friends, colleagues, the work. Besides being grateful for our beloved children, I am thankful for the thread group of memories that I have. Mm -hmm.